If it continues on its current path, it's expected to hit the Florida Keys tomorrow night and then make landfill near, near Miami near Sunday morning. Thousands in Florida are doing what they can to prepare for that moment. Lines wrap around home improvement stores, which are already out of many supplies. They're even getting lines to get inside shelters before they open their doors. Once inside the shelters, many residents continue to worry. What's the most scary is what are we going to go back to? That fear comes because of the destruction Irma left behind on many of the Caribbean islands. Several Utahns rode out that storm and are trying to get home tonight. New at 6, new specialist Keith McCord spoke with them today. Keith? Dini, one of the hardest hit islands was St. Martin, where there are several thousand Americans stranded, including a Salt Lake couple and three other family members. This is what's left of one of the rooms at the resort where Bart and Sally Bowen of Salt Lake are staying. Windows blown out, furniture and debris scattered everywhere. Despite their best efforts, they couldn't hold back the storm. There are an estimated 6,000 stranded Americans on St. Martin right now, and the U.S. consulate there is trying to contact them and is working with other governments to figure out ways to get people off the island, either by air or boat. Bart Bowen told us this afternoon there's a bulletin board in the resort lobby giving instructions. Everybody put their name on a list. Everybody was supposed to show up with their passports and then get registered so they knew how many people from different countries and they compiled the list and at 5 o'clock they sent it out. In terms of a rescue operation, the Bowens have heard nothing yet. Food and water is rationed at the resort and Bowen says backup generators providing power and Wi-Fi operate for only a few hours a day. So yeah, we're in survival mode right now. Lindsay Philpott and her family battled Irma on St. John's Island. In her latest video this afternoon, she says they've been moved to another room and will prepare now for the next hurricane, Jose. We already have a, a good water stash, but it's not going to last us two weeks. So, um, yeah, that's about it. The airport at St. Martin has been closed since Irma struck, but the Bowens plan on going there tomorrow as originally scheduled. There's a very limited vehicle that are driving and they're going to take us to the airport and then we're going to hang out at the airport and do everything we can to get out. But it could be a while. So, wish us luck. In that Lydia, uh, video from Lindsay Philpot, she urged, urged her family and f friends back here to contact the Coast Guard or Utah's representatives or any other agency to send help. Bart Bowen's dad told me just a few minutes ago he's been in contact with Senator Hatch's office to see what he can do. Bottom line though, guys, a lot of people are going to be, remain stranded for a while. Indeed, Keith, thank you for